Well, more than two and a half million dollars of taxpayer money is going towards affordable housing here in Pima County. So the County Board of Supervisors recently voted to make this happen as the cost to rent, we all mm -hmm. know, just keeps going up. In fact, in our state, there's actually no legal limit or cap of the amount of rent increases that's possible. News for Tucson's Gabriel Paris is live on the south side with an update and where these millions of dollars are headed. Gabrielle. Sean, all that money is going towards revamping and repurposing two properties, just like the one that I'm standing at, which is called the Rio Mercado, which is located off of Drexel and Park. And as you can see behind me, construction is underway, and I'll have more on that in just a second. But first, let's hear from Pima County Supervisor Matt Hines on how this affordable housing project is going to work. Um, where potential renters aren't going to be paying more than 30% of the area's median income for Tucson, which is about 7500 for an individual or about 15000 for uh, a household. These are the Rio Mercado apartments. Now, majority of that money is going towards construction to make sure this property is up to par. It will provide more than 100 units for people with lower incomes. Now, the county is making this effort to help people keep a roof over their heads. And yes, you do have to qualify for this, but anyone can apply. Right now, this is still so early in the process, so the exact qualification requirements are not out yet. And it's unknown how much this property will cost monthly to rent. But on the bright side, it is controlled rent, so rent will not increase all of a sudden like how many people are experiencing in America right now. These two properties combined will provide over 200 units for people with lower incomes. County Supervisor Matt Hines says this project probably won't be ready until the beginning of 2025. Reporting live from the South Side, Gabrielle Parrish, News 4 Tucson.